Come on, come on. I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself. This year we celebrate 35 years, so we've touched about 30,000 young people in that time. The East Token Youth Development Center provides a, a cornucopia of opportunities from workforce development because we are surrounded by a community that has a high unemployment rate, so we want to do job training and placement to support them to an extraordinary GED program. We've got a three-month waiting list. We're so popular. And again, that's to respond to the high dropout rate in the area. Then we have an arts department for performing, visual, and culinary arts, cooking, and a wellness program for the National Basketball Association. We sent about 12 people to the NBA through our program. But we have basketball, we have martial arts, we have track and field, and our young people in track and field have, have gone to the Olympic trials, have gone to youth Olympic games. I think first, we receive them with the warmth and the love and the nurturing that they may not even have at home. Second, like I said, we expect excellence, so we really let them know what we want for them and hope that they want it for themselves. But third, we show them what's possible. We, even if we have to hold their hands, we lead them to the success that can be your, theirs. We take them on experiences that there they've is never something been as simple to. as Disney what? on Ice or their first basketball game or whether it's across the country to the White House. Somebody that looks like you that is at the highest level of their game and then they tell you that they used to ride the 57. You know so that it's possible with hard work and a supportive environment which is what EOIDC is to everyone that's how they break through that uh, space that says, I can't. There's, we take away the excuses, we give them the skills and the training, and we show them as possible. Right, of course. So now I would like, know that I have to be there for it because of The positive influence I get from the EYDC is go for your goal. This moment was getting my first Come on, I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I the struggles I had was last year, no, this year at my, my other high school, like I almost got jumped and no one really cared. So when I got here, everybody cared about it and they sent an email to my school um, saying what happened and that like, it was unacceptable and they helped me get out of that school and transfer to a better school so I didn't have to worry about my safety. My proudest moment was getting my first job here. Um, I was so nervous, but they helped me through the whole way. I started to get involved with EOIDC around my sophomore, freshman year in high school. And my mom uh, told me about an opening in the summer, co summer cultural enrichment program. So I decided to take that chance and interview for the job and I actually got the position. So I've been coming back every year for the summer and this year, my, so my senior year in high school, I was offered offered a position as a youth computer instructor at the center. I've always kept coming back to EOIDC because I like, you know, what they stood for. I like the people that I met, met. It was just like another home away from home, basically, for me. At school, everyone wants you to do the best. However, there's a lot of students, and when you start coming to a center like EOIDC, you get like more attention like one-on-one -on -one attention, and you have like someone that can guide you to the right path as well, tell you what to do, what not to do. Like most of our employees were raised in the community, so we know where, 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 where like the areas our kids need to work on. What it, what's it's kind of like, when we leave here, we don't go to a nice fancy place, you know, we live in the community. So like we know what our kids are dealing with, as well, we know their problems is our problems. I've been going to EOYDC for one year now. EOYDC changed me because they gave me love and support, and they they told me they told me to keep pushing myself, even though I think I can't do it. That I could do anything I set my mind to. I'm originally from Oakland, and I live two blocks down my whole life, and I frequent going to the center since I was young. Once I got out of school, it was like I wanted to do something to give back to my community. And what better way to, than to be a part of EOIDC, which has this strong legacy of helping students and helping young youth that look like me. So I wanted to be a part of that legacy as well. 
I like to say that um, Oakland is a gem and we get a really bad rap for it and that I know you know because I'm an OG now right when I first started this working here I was only 30 I was only like a mother to some of the kids now I'm the age of like a great-grandmother but what worked then still works now we just recognize that our young people are you know having to do more with even less so I love it that I've been able to develop a staff that think the way I think. We all think that young people are the most treasured commodity that this world has. And we want you to see your true potential and step into your greatness. And that is what makes us different from other youth serving organizations. It's like worth living, should I blast myself? I'm tired of being poor and even worse, I'm black. My stomach hurts, so I'm looking for a purse to snatch. Cops give a damn about a need, bro. Pull a trigger, kill a nigga, he's a heat.